second video of the dominating YouTube module. In this video, we'll be talking about ranking your videos, how to make so your video appears on the first page when you type in a certain keyword. How do you make it so that your video appears when you search for your niche, for the niche that you're in? So let's talk a bit more about that. Clickbait on YouTube is okay. I don't know why people are so mad about it. It's been around for hundreds of years. When, when newspapers uh, write big, cashy titles on their newspapers, that's because they want you to buy the newspaper. And when, they, when people do it on YouTube, everybody gets mad, but it's the same concept. People want you to watch their videos because it can bring you value and it br does bring them money. By having a good title, a clickbait title, it's actually not clickbait, it's just a, a catchy title. That's how people will decide to watch your video, which means that that's how you'll be getting more subscribers, which means that's how you'll make more money. So, of course, if you want to make money and if you want to grow your base of subscribers, then you have to use catchy titles and catchy uh, thumbnails and so on. Clickbait is okay. That's what you have to do on YouTube so you can get a chance to actually be seen because everybody on YouTube is doing it already. So it's okay to do it and there's no problem with that. Growing your YouTube channel has nothing to do with SEO. It had something to do with SEO years ago, but now it's not the same. If you, But let's say you want to still utilize the power of SEO. Uh, if you want to rank for SEO, just use the keyword that you wa want to rank for as much as possible. Put it in the title, put it in the in the tags, put it in the description, and you know use that keyword as much as you can. Uh, the next thing is to share your videos on social media and in blog comments. That's called backlinks. And when you build a lot of backlinks, you know that actually ranks your video in Google. It ranks your video in YouTube as well but it won't have such a big effect on your video. It has nothing to do with subscribers as well. There are a lot of people who have 1 million subscribers or more, but get, this, get the same view rate as people who have 100,000 subscribers. But on the other hand, yes, subscribers can help to get a video viral. But growing your channel has nothing to do with the number of subscribers you have. It, subscribers can help your videos get viral, and that's how you actually get more subscribers. But YouTube doesn't rank your videos based on subscribers. So things you should concentrate on are high CTR, which means click-through rate, high watch time, because the more time people spend on your videos, the more YouTube will promote it. So on average, you have to have at least a five minute watch time between your videos. So each person that has watched your video has to have spent at least five minutes on it, on average. And you also have to have low end sessions. And that means when people go out of YouTube and they click away from YouTube and they go into a different website because of a link that you put in the description. So the, the, the things you should really concentrate on the most is high CTR and high watch time. Uh, and when you concentrate on those things, and you should concentrate on those things because it's easier to control than the low end sessions. Because in the end, you also want to put links in your description if you are promoting a product or something like that. So Let's talk about high click-through rate and high watch time. This is how you increase your click-through rate. You have to be using big text and shocking slash interesting pictures on your thumbnails. Titles shouldn't lie. They should increase the interest of people based on curiosity. So you shouldn't lie in your YouTube titles, but they should be clickbaity. They should increase the interest of every, every person that sees the video on YouTube. They should increase their interest based on curiosity. So you should be using curiosity to increase interest so people click on your videos. The image should make people read the headline or at least compliment the headline. That's how you increase CTR. But the most important thing is, you know, the, the, the first two, big text and shocking picture. And you should be using at least a little clickbaity titles, but especially the thumbnail. Like, think about it. When you go on YouTube, probably the videos that you click on the most have the biggest text and the shock, the most interesting picture. So use big text and interesting and an interesting picture. Titles should should increase the interest of people based on curiosity, and the image should make people read the headline or at least compliment it. Now this is how to increase watch time. You have to focus on entertainment first. Edu education is second, if you can. And that what I mean by if you can is, if your channel is a how-to channel, it's going to be hard to focus on entertainment before education because you have a how-to channel. On the other hand, blog channels have entertainment a lot, but they don't give out a lot of education to their followers. They don't give out so much value. 
Now, Gary Vaynerchuk, he has actually combined the two of them because he is having the he had he has daily vlogs and that's entertainment. But during his daily vlogs, he's giving out a lot of value and that's education. But he's focusing on entertainment first. So if you can focus on entertainment first, because people will be entertained, that means they will watch your video longer. Now, if you can't focus on entertainment first, then try including entertainment elements like jokes or a more fast paced video that will make people watch you and sometimes how to videos can get a bit boring so if you include a joke or two from time to time or something shocking people will stay on the video a, li a bit of, a little more and it will actually you know it will make the video more interesting you have to hook people in you either have to talk about interesting topics or you have to give away a lot of value and act and you know you have to have an ob obvious benefit to why people should be watching your video so that's how you increase watch time now how to lower your end sessions don't put a lot of links in your description people clicking away from youtube is bad youtube doesn't like that youtube doesn't like it because youtube is also a business it, it, it makes money from people watching videos it makes money from that so they don't want people to go away from youtube so when you are putting links in your description and people are actually clicking away from youtube because of your video youtube knows that they have an algorithm that actually tracks that so when youtube sees that they don't like it and your video will not get promoted as much because if it gets promoted too much then a lot of people are going to be clicking away from youtube so youtube doesn't promote your video and it won't get a lot of views so another way to lower end sessions and increase watch time is to tell people to go watch your other videos this is good when youtube also tracks if people who are watching your video are going and watching other videos that are created from you and if youtube actually when youtube tracks that and it actually sees that people are watching one of your videos and then they are going and watching another one of your videos then youtube is going to start promoting your channel more because the algorithm the algorithm sees that you're keeping people on the youtube website and that's good for youtube and that's how they make money so it will start promoting your videos even more i want to show you also how you can use tags and descriptions so uh, it's really really easy you just have to download a simple extension that's free and when you download it you'll be able to see a lot of things that you want to be able to see normally so let's go on to youtube and i'm going to show you so as you can see we are on youtube and right now i'm in my account and let's say we want to search for good hashtags to put in our videos now let's say uh, i'm in the business niche i'm going to go to ty lopez's account and i'm going to click on videos and now i'm just going to sort it by most popular now as you can see this has 68 million views uh, but this is this was an ad that ty lopez ran for a long long time so let's just uh, choose one of those here let's just choose this three things that will change your life let's click on the video and now what you'll see is this this is a a Google Chrome extension that you have to download is called vidIQ. Just go to the Google Chrome Web Store and type in vidIQ and download this application. Now, what you can do with this application is you can see what tags the YouTuber has used for this video. Now, uh, this video, uh, as you can see, it doesn't have a lot of tags. So let's just choose a different example. Uh, now, I've uh, chosen this uh, value video, awesome channel. But anyways, as you can see, I'm going up and down and I can see all of the tags that he has used and I can see where the, where his video has been ranked. So it's on the fourth place of the tag Phil Heat, it's on the fourth place of Mr. Olympia, it's uh, on the fifth place of Mr. Phil Heat, Mr. Olympia, and it's on the 17th place if you type in Patrick Bed David on YouTube. Now, you can copy all of those hashtags just by clicking here and now you upload a video, you just go upload the video and put those hashtags in your video will start ranking with those hashtags as well. Another thing that you can see here, this is what I meant with SEO. Now, as you can see, he wants to rank for Phil Heath and uh, Mr. Olympia. Now, as you can see, he has ranked for Phil Heath on fourth place and Mr. Olympia on fourth place and Phil Heath, Mr. Olympia, fifth place. Now, if you can see here, his title and his description, what has he done? Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath, Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath again, Mr. Olympia again, Phil Heath again. So, Mr. Olympia again. So, as you can see, he is just typing the same keyword over and over again and trying to use it as much as possible. So, he ranks for that keyword. And as you can see, he has done it successfully over here because he is on the fourth place of Phil Heath, 
fourth place for Mr. Olympia, and fourth, fifth place for Phil Heath, Mr. Olympia. He hasn't ranked for any of the other tags because he hasn't used the word, the keyword, as much. Download this extension and you'll be able to see uh, the tags of, of other channels in your niche. So let's say you're in the bodybuilding niche. Uh, we're, we're just going to type bodybuilding. All right, so now we type bodybuilding and let's just uh, let's just choose one of those videos. Just choose this and immediately we can see all of the tags over here from this video. We can see a lot of other uh, statistics about this video. It has 736 YouTube likes and so on and so on. Now we can see a lot of stats for this channel and the video. So this extension is amazing. You should download this extension. If you use it together with the SEO tactic that I showed you, using the same keyword as much as possible in your videos, then you'll be able to rank for whatever specific keyword you want to rank for, even if you don't have a lot of subscribers and a lot of views. So that's how you can grow your channel by using other people's tags. I want to also talk about how you can promote your YouTube channel in order to gain subscribers a bit faster. Now, if you if you followed everything I've said until now in this course, you'd probably have a big Instagram page, a big Facebook page, a Facebook group, and a Twitter account that ha that have grown uh, at least to 1,000 to 2,000 followers. So now you can use all of those channels to promote your YouTube channel and you start getting subscribers on your YouTube because let's say you have 1,000 followers on Instagram, uh, 1,000 followers on your Facebook page, 1,000 people in your Facebook group, and 1,000 people in your Twitter account. Now, this is 4,000 people. Now, if you post a link to your YouTube channel on all of those uh, platforms, you'll get a lot of subscribers, you'll get a lot of exposure. Now, you can also promote your channel on Reddit. They don't like that a lot. But if you actually provide value on Reddit, if you answer questions and if you create a, an interesting thread on Reddit, you can also promote your YouTube channel over there. I have personally used Reddit to make several videos viral when I went from 117 kilograms uh, and dieted down and actually started having abs and stuff. I, promote, I created a, a YouTube uh, video about that just posted it on reddit because i wanted to just you know show off my progress i wanted to help anybody that uh has some questions and stuff like that and i just posted it on the reddit video, video got viral overnight it got 100,000 views overnight so it went viral as hell how that's the power of reddit but you have to give out value i didn't just vacantly promote my youtube channel on reddit i gave out value i i first off gave information about my transformation i typed it out and I said, but look, if you want to watch the video, you can go here. And I posted the link. And people started watching the video because everybody prefers the video than reading. So that's how I got a lot of subscribers back then on my fitness channel. And that's how I got a lot of views, like 100 and something thousand views overnight. The next way is YouTube ads. And I want to talk about this way a lot more. So that's why we have a video specifically for YouTube ads. And that video is next. So. You have to meet me in the next video and we'll be talking about YouTube ads and how you can use it, use YouTube ads to gain millions and millions of subscribers and views as fast as possible. So meet me in the next video.